So, hello and welcome to lesson 9 in our study of scientific computing, where we are studying the programming, Python programming language. So, in this video, we're talking about looping in Python. We'll talk about the while loop and the for loop. And we'll talk about functions in the next lesson, okay? Alright, so, why looping? You know, um, most of the times when you're writing codes, we would want to do something repeatedly, okay? So we mostly do that thing in a loop. So a loop in Python is just is just a block of codes which does something repeatedly when a given condition is satisfied, okay? So in Python we have two types of loops. We have the while loop and the for loop, okay? So we are going to talk about the two of them, and they are slight dif they have a slight difference. So, the while loop is used to execute a procedure repeatedly until the logical condition passed to it becomes false. Okay. So, we use a while loop when we pass a condition to it. And it's going to do that thing repeatedly until the logical condition becomes false. So, this is the syntax for it. Okay. And here it says, for instance, the way we log into systems, that's phones, computers, bank accounts, Gmails, have been designed in a way that until you type the right pin or password, the system will keep on asking you for an input, since your input is not right. Okay. So this is a syntax for writing while loop in Python. So your while condition, then you end it with a colon, you indent it, block of statement, then your statement after the loop. Okay. As simple as that so let's take an example so before we come to this example let's take a simple one here all right so here we it's a it's a code we are going to use to print the first 20 even numbers okay so we are saying that a counter n is equal to 1 so while n is less than or equal to 20 if the modulus of n is um I mean, if n mode 2 is 0, all right, then we should print n. And so, you know, with an even number, when you divide it by 2, the remainder will always be 0. So that's the reason why we have this condition, all right? So we print that number, and n is equal to n plus 1 for us to start, okay? So, you know, this is a while loop, and there is a condition. The condition is that if the n is less than or equal to 20, so that means that this block of code is going to run repeatedly until this condition becomes false okay so maybe let's do it here so Alright, so this is it. Alright, and we should we should run this. You see, it printed the words even numbers for us from two to twenty. Right? Okay. So that's how we use the while condition. Alright. So let me go back to the first example we had. Alright. So this is an example which is going to help us to know how um we log into system. Okay, the logic behind it. So, when it comes here, I have a variable in my system containing my system password. And the password is tracy123. Okay. So, I'll ask the user to enter his password. And I'll store that in a variable called x. All right. So, if the password the user entered x is equal to the password in the system, right, then I'll print welcome. Else, I'll keep on asking the user to what? input the password right so this is a code for it here so you can see exactly the same thing i've explained okay so if i should run this it will tell me to enter my password right so let me enter rain 
So since train is wrong, it will tell me to enter the password. So when I enter a wrong password, it will continually ask me to input the password on. So I guess it's right. So maybe right now, if I should type the correct thing, Tracy123, then it tells me welcome. Okay, so that's how we use the while loop, right? We give it a condition and when the condition becomes false, right, then it stops. So a trial work, you can try this, okay? So write a script to do the following. To print the first 30 odd numbers, you know, we just wrote a script to print the first 20 even numbers, um, the first even numbers between 1 to 20, right? You can also do that to print the first 30 odd numbers to print multiples of 4 between 0 and 100, okay? So now let's go to the for loop. So a for loop is used for iterating over a sequence, right? And the sequence can be a list, a tuple, a dictionary, or a set of string. So with a for loop, we can execute a set of statements, one for each item in a list or tuple, okay? So the difference between the while loop and the for loop is that, you know, with the while loop, we give it a condition, right? So it continues to run repeatedly until the condition becomes false. But with the for loop, we specify the number of times we want to do that thing, okay? And this here is the syntax for the for loop. So, with a password example, right, we can use a for loop to do the same thing. So, the system password is tracy123, and we are storing it in a variable called tracing. Then, in password, then we are saying that the user should input their password. We are storing that in a variable called x. So, if the password the user inputted, that's x, it's equal to the system password, right? Then we print access granted, welcome, else. For i in range of 1 to 5, what it means is that we want to do this 5 times, right? 4 times. We need to do it for us 4, four times. So, for i in range of 1 to 5, x equals input, enter your password, right? And if x equals to password, then print asset granted. If not, sorry, but your password is incorrect. So, you see with the how loop, we left the condition that until the condition becomes false, the system should keep on asking the user to enter the password. But with the for loop, we can give it a number of times it should do it. And you want to do it five times, okay? So there's the actual code for doing that. All right, you can see that here. So if I should run this code, so it says enter my password, right? If I should type ring, it's wrong. Maybe if I should type Abna, it's wrong. Then it will tell me I have three more attempts because I have exhausted two. We wanted it to have five more attempts, right? Maybe let's say in the third one is maybe the third one I don't know. So I type maybe um Godfrey. I have two more attempts. I type Fiona. That's also wrong. Then I type Adepa. That's also wrong. And you can see that because I have exhausted it, it is no more asking me to enter my password because I've exhausted it, right? So let's run it again. And this time around, try and answer correctly, right? So maybe the first password I type is Emifa. That's not correct, right? Then I type the second one as the right password, which is tracy123. So it tells me access granted welcome because the password is correct, okay? So this is how you can implement the for loop, okay? The most important thing is that you know the syntax. Then you can use it to write anything that you want to, okay? So an example is, do you remember with the while loop, we printed the even numbers between 1 to 20, right? So we can use a for loop to do the same thing. So here we are saying that for i in range of 2 to 22, and the step should be 2, print i, then it will do the same thing for us, okay? All right. And we can also use this code to do the same thing, okay? With a for loop and a while loop. And 
we can also use the for loop to loop through a list right so you see here we have a list called fruits and it has in them apple banana cherry right so you can print each item in the list so you are seeing that for x in fruits print x and it will go through the list and print each item so it will print apple banana and cherry okay so this is how we use the um while loop in the for loop in python it's very simple okay you just have to know the syntax and use them to do a whole lot of things that you want to so project try to use this concept of the for loop and while loops to write a program to add n integers right to multiply n numbers and to find the factorial of a number so you can try down and see okay all right so in our next video we are going to have some practice work to do okay then the next one we'll talk about the functions so thank you very much and see you in the next video